like three years ago, like before COVID happened. It, it, yeah, it, it, but I guess no one remembered. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a long, long ago. Yeah, but hope you guys haven't been waiting too long. We got our next set coming in. Uh, I personally don't recognize either of these two players. Oh, Maybe I'll recognize their Dak tags Poe. once they come in. That's, that's Dak Poe for sure. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So the, the Diddy Kong player from Vegas. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I, sometimes I'll see the name, but I don't know what their face looks like oh. until, like, they actually get on this game. But yes, I do recognize Dak Poe. Okay, so we're going against uh, Clay Tito here. All right, let's see how this goes down. All right, so I believe this is still the end of uh, Wave 2. Yeah, so, so uh, I believe the yeah wave two uh, has a couple more matches to go. Um, yeah, but I think oh wow, bad trade. So it's actually uh, um, Harley the King and Deco were like the two seated, the highest two seated players for this character or this pool, and uh, Ray Tito actually overcame Charlie the King. Oh, okay, very nice stuff. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a pretty good job now. I mean, Young Link, if he doesn't get the setups he needs, sometimes it could be difficult to find the, the kills it needs, but yeah. you know, being up a whole stock basically, that's already a good start for Clay Dito here. Just look at the look at the tech that he's putting out. You see that uh that Zare to Les double jump. Just a mix up like where he's gonna have to do. Mm -hmm. And of course a young link is gonna be more familiar with item play than some of the other characters. So banana pill may not be as much of a factor because you know, some some players are not too familiar with item play so then they'll you know kind of mess themselves up trying to get the banana or something so they'll right, right, ignore right. it and not uh, mess up their game plan, but right definitely, there, yes. Definitely cannot ignore that banana. This banana is such a huge portion of this matchup. Like, you definitely have to have your items on deck to make sure that you can actually uh, box with this character. Mm -hmm. and in fact, you can. They're like, if you can utilize the banana against Diddy, then this matchup becomes uh, exponentially easier. Yeah. I mean, Diddy's still a crackhead, crazy character, but wow, just being able to utilize that item can definitely change. The prospect of this matchup. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You can yeah. see Dakpo fighting back. Play Tito keeping up with the damage. This is a very back and forth match. I love it. Yeah, especially even after that first stock just completely obliterated. Still able to bring it back. Come back around. We got ourselves an even game. Let's see what happens. Okay. Have to try to jump over the banana. Gonna get four there for that. Yeah, just return back to neutral. If they don't get what they want in their neutral conversion, there's no need pushing it. They can go back to it and then, you know, with their amazing tools they have in neutral, they can just go back to what they need to do. Okay, neutral air, take them off. Yeah, okay, that was a little bit risque. Trying to go for that up smash. Um, not a good position to be in. Gonna get caught by that. I'm gonna be down another stock this time. Hi. Um, Hello. It's, it's me, your boy, 2G Strides. So um, this match is interesting, not just because of the characters, but the fact that this is a, a Vegas match. Like both these guys drove all the way to SoCal to play each other. And top 24, I guess? Can't tell. I, I still see way too pulls here. But. Yeah, it's, a, it's the end of the pulls. But apparently Clay Tito beat uh, Charlie to get here. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty crazy Brilliant. stuff. So uh, Vegas kind of invading and kind of showing what they're worth. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so last time I saw it, much of Clay Tito, he was playing Ness, and that was a decently long time ago, it seems so. Definitely rocking out with the Young League now. And Dak Poe, uh, pretty much a staple in the Vegas community now. As mm -hmm. far as the top players go in Vegas, yeah. originally from Dallas, Fort Worth, and one of the best Diddy Kongs. Oh! Oh! Worst time to regrab. Worst time to regrab. A great recognition from Dak Poe, seeing that he was completely vulnerable grabbing from the edge twice. Yeah, maybe he, maybe he didn't even mean to grab Lesh twice because it looked like he like no. dropped down Nair. Maybe he was trying to like drop down double jump and then like Zare or something and then like a Nair came out. I don't know. Uh, That's no, very not though. not not on purpose at all. You can yeah. tell from the movement he was doing on the ledge. Honestly, he might have just been trying to do some tricky stuff off the ledge to avoid like the banana setup. But right. Yeah. It, just re-grabbing is a good player like like back pull is usually death sentence. So. Yeah. That kind. Yeah. That's pretty much what Zach Poe wanted, I think. So, yeah, the, trying to get around it, but g good effort from uh, both players. Yeah. But, yeah, Zach Poe, he was pretty much down uh, entire stocks in the beginning, but then he was able to bring it back. So it just, just goes to show, like, with the kind of caliber our players are possessing here. Yeah, yeah, Tito, Clay Tito, uh, very impressive, for sure. Okay, back e to even PSG in a matchup also. like this, uh, mm -hmm. it can – I don't want to say it's like a day losing matchup because I don't think it is, but it definitely can be frustrating to deal with the projectiles while also 
uh, navigating the banana usage of your, of your own. So. Yeah, I mean, I was saying earlier that like both of these two have really great neutral because of their item play. So it's going to come down to who can get better conversions or just um, who's going to be able to close out those stocks a little bit easier. So great punish out of shield right after the first dare. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. I, like the, I like the down smash to cover uh, the air dodge in cover yeah. both sides because mm -hmm. he didn't get the trip. So you can't get like a guaranteed like forward smash or up smash, but wow, you can get the up air kill there. Yeah, yeah Clay, Clay definitely knows his projectile confirms. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bear one. Important, obviously. Yeah, bear one setting up into multiple bears trying to convert off of something, but wasn't able to land bear two to continue a chain. But still, it does a decent amount of damage. Let's see what the expo does. Now he's got the ledge play, banana peel there. Ooh, tried to do the dunk, but couldn't quite yeah. find the timing on it. Z drop a little bit more consistent in that situation just because you can stay on stage if oh, you went for it there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit uh, less risk there if you miss. Okay, monkey flip. 38% as well. Oh, nice. Wow. Just run off forward air before you can even reel in from the tether. That was actually so good from back close. Mm -hmm. Good mix up, too. I thought because he was going to pull out the banana peel again, he was just going to go for it for a third time. But it uh, looks like uh, Tito wasn't expecting it either. So just easy fair. That was actually a really good punish there for Doc Pro. Uh, something that he does, and a lot of the other good D players do, is they'll get the down throw at low percent and they'll delay their up air because it puts you in a more likely situation to get um, more damage, like uh, mm -hmm. more aerials, I would say. Right. Like you can get like two up airs, maybe like Lika calling there, things like that. Oh, but there's that down air. See, one of Youngling's weakness actually is his recovery because he isn't getting the tether. Uh, he's basically just sitting duck if he goes low. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not actually not that difficult to edge guard, even though his recovery goes a pretty far distance. Right. So, man, Dakpo actually taking that clean down air spike, letting him really build on this lead. Uh, missed up the grab a little bit. Almost got a little chain there, but yeah. And he's using that um, Kamikaze jet hack a lot uh, in this match. It's yeah. been working out very nicely for him too. This is a lot of damage. It's actually relatively quick, and like I said, it does a lot of percent. Also, if he knows that uh, Young's going to throw an item at him, it actually jettisons the barrels from uh, Diddy mm -hmm. Kong without yeah. him taking too much damage. There yeah. it is. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I call it. I hate when I call it, but great stuff to Dak Man, that was clean. Diddy yeah, very, uh, very nice play there. I'm actually surprised we were going to